this week's Shedra, Kisese, begins with when you will go out and wage battle with your enemy. The Arizal says that there's a hint here to the main enemy that a person has and the main battle he's going to have to wage during his lifetime is the enemy, which is the Yetzirah, his evil inclination, and the battle he has to constantly fight with that evil inclination and overcome it. It's only one problem. The rabbis tell us cl clearly that the battle that's being referred to in the Sedra is a war that is voluntary, not the mandatory war of capturing, conquering Eretz Israel, and not the mandatory war of defending the Jewish people against enemies that come against them, but a voluntary war. If that's the case, how can there be a hint to the battle with the Yetzirah in a voluntary war when the battle with the Yetzirah is obviously a mandatory battle? On the Pasuk and Bereshis, the Pesach Hachat Rovets, God tells Cain that um, the Yetzirah, the Satan, crouches at the opening. The Kleokor explains in the following way. He says that the Yetzirah is compared to a fly. If you have a whole apple, the fly can't do anything to it. But if you take a bite out of the apple, then the fly can already go and devour what it can devour. If you don't give an opening to the Yetzirah, then you're protected. Once you give a little opening, then you've uh, lost the battle. Therefore, the battle with the Yetzirah has to start not in those areas that are mandatory, between the prohibited and the, prohib and the permitted, between the mitzvah and uh, the avera, but it has to start on the grounds of permissible things. And a person has to be able not to give any opening to the Yetzirah by in those areas that are permitted to show restraint and to exercise his self-control. And when you show restraint and self-control in the areas that are permitted, the areas that are voluntary, then you're able, when the, when the challenge arises and you're faced with something that's prohibited or something that's mandatory to do, then you're able better to be able to overcome and to uh, be successful in fighting off the Yetzirah. Just like in any war, if you wait till the enemy attacks you and is on your ground, then it's very difficult to win that battle. But if you take the initiative and attack the Yetzirah on his ground, don't let him get into your your uh, um, area, then the chances of winning that battle are much greater. We are now in the month of Elul, preparing for Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, starting a new year, turning over a new leaf, and making amends, doing tshuva, repenting for the mistakes and the sins of the past. Elul should be used to create an atmosphere of discipline, of restraint, of fighting the Yetzirah, not when it is permissible or prohibited, but on those areas of permissibility, those areas that are not mandatory, and showing restraint and exercising self-control. So when we come and turn over a new leaf in this coming year, we'll be doing it on the right foot, and we'll be able then to better make amends and repent for the sins of the past and not repeat them in the future. I wish all uh, my fellow young Israelites, all of Klal Yisrael, a Shana Tovo, Masuka, Ksiva, Vachasima Tovo, but more important, a successful Elo in preparation because what you accomplish is measured by how much preparation and how intense and quality the the preparation is if our preparation of Elul 
is going to be the kind of preparation that is a quality preparation, then most certainly our New Year, our Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, and the Simcha of Sukkot will also be quality Yom Yim Tovim. Have a good Shabbos.